So I'm a little bit behind in getting out my look, reaction, and review analysis of the trailer for Star Wars Skeleton Crew. But don't worry, I'm finally getting to it. I'll be reacting to it and providing you guys my thoughts. So let us just jump right in. Link to the original trailer is in the description. Interesting. Tomorrow's test. Oh, suburban looking. Oh, schools. Future. Okay. Don't you ever want to do anything exciting? Like what? Hmm. Yeah, de I definitely see the influence we from, the you know, galaxy. kids' movies from the 80s. Suburban influence, no too. I found something buried in the woods. Interesting. Finding something. I, I can definitely see the influences from past media, but that, that could be good. Ooh, what's that? Interesting. I mean, yeah, Jedi temples used to be scattered all over the place. So we're gonna get some kind of pseudo hole. Maybe some more than pseudo hole. Hyperspace, obviously. What Star Wars doesn't have it? December? Okay, that's good. That Lost kids. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely sounds ages to me. Star Wars. Trust no one. Hmm. Okay. These kids are getting into an adventure beyond their ideas. Somebody's using the force. You're a Jedi. Is it that guy, uh, who I believe is played by Jude Daw? Is it one of the kids, or is it somebody else and they're just, you know, messing with us? I could easily see it go either way. So there's definitely lots of interesting stuff going on in the trailer. Definitely, for sure. The, the question is, is the Jude Law character going to be a Jedi or not? That is a very interesting question that we have to ask ourselves. Maybe, maybe not. I could see it being a misdirection. Um, it could be one of the kids, or maybe, you know, this guy, he's not a Jedi, but he knows how to use the Force, it could be something like that. There's so many different possibilities, and let's not forget, like I said, Chero misdirection is definitely a thing. Um, but some of the other scenes I want to just, you know, take a look at. Um, so let's get a good one. And that shot is, shows us a little bit, not too well. So let's advance a few seconds. Definitely giving us a more suburban feel, which is something we haven't really seen yet in Star Wars. We've got an urban settlement, rural settlement, but not really anything in between. And yeah, that stuff should appear in Star Wars. I remember seeing online some people being mad about that, but I'm like, why? Why are you mad about it? We need different kinds of, you know, Settlements in Star Wars, especially you know maybe a wealthier planet's gonna have more of a suburban area for people to live. That's gonna make sense. But the scene right following this hill, that appears to me like it's not a classroom. Too many desks. I think that's like the equivalent of a gymnasium or cafeteria. Maybe it's both. And you know what I think they're doing? I think it's a standardized test. But yeah, I think that's literally a standardized test. Will we get some commentary on how standardized tests actually hurt students and teachers more than help? And how, you know, if you connect standardized tests to funding and you take funding away from schools that do worse on standardized tests, that's only going to make them do worse. Are they going to talk about that? Probably not. But given the fact that I remember seeing some, some material, publicity material and in interviews talking about how they wanted to go for... They were inspired by some of the, you know, um, kids' adventure movies of the 80s and all that. I definitely felt those scenes though, and that idea of a boring suburban school and su suburban suburban school and school environment. Let's bring them all together. That kind of boring environment will make sense when they get onto the adventure, really contrasted. Kind of similar to how Luke had that boring existence of a moisture farmer. No, Tatooine is probably not the most boring plan, but you know what I mean, that more boring, mundane, trivial existence, normal, whatever word you want to use. This school setting, this scene, I think is intended, to, at least in the trailer, to make us feel like, yep, this is 
just going to be bog standard, nothing special, nothing fancy before the actual adventure begins. Um, I could talk about the characters, but um, there was one scene here, let's zoom up, like there, okay. Tell me they didn't shoot that at the Los Angeles River because it's concrete like the LA River. But you can barely see in the background here, um, but looks like they have public transit in the suburbs. That's something most American suburbs don't have besides the occasional bus line. Now this could be like one bus, but I like the idea that Star Wars could have show us that you can have suburban development with efficient and sustainable and just present public transit. I think that would be really cool. Might feel a bit mundane, but to us Americans, that's crazy. Um, but did we have anything else? Again, there's so many small stuff here, action scenes that I could break down and all that, but you know what? I think I've said most of what I wanted to say. So, like I said, I talked about some of the misdirection and the setup. And the setup I find more interesting than the actual adventure because the actual adventure would clearly probably end up being some kind of coming of age story. Kids getting over their heads but learning a valued and important lesson. But the setup to me is way more interesting. I really can't wait to see how that is. But we have to wait till December for that. So I'll see you then when I do my reviews of the Skeleton Crew episodes. But in the meantime, let me know what you thought about this trailer in the comment section down below. And of course, may the force be with you always. Thank you for watching my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like and share. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date on all my latest content. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the force be with you, always.